Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. Today I wanted to talk with you about something that may seem, I don't know, may seem like a great big duh, but it's something that really needs to be understood, and it is why handgun is so important. Why handgun is the most important weapon for you to learn in the arsenal. And what it really boils down to is this. The reason that I'm out here today, and the reason that I came out here, what was it, three days ago, and the reason that I came out here two days prior to that is A, because I'm on spring break from college, um, but B, because prior to that, I had been coming out here on Saturday afternoons and just relaxing, laying down, and doing long range shooting with my rifle. Why? Because I hadn't touched my rifle in a while. But in so doing, um, I inadvertently was surrendering any practice time with my handgun. Handgun is one of the toughest disciplines to reach proficiency in and then maintain that proficiency. Your skill levels will drop so fast with the handgun that if you're not spending regular time with your handgun, proficiency just drops in the tank. I can't remember the numbers, but when you go out to train with um, Dave Spaulding of Handgun Combatives, he actually gives you the scientific data here, and he basically says there is a doctor of physiology, I forget his name, I'll have to dig around in the book to find it, uh, there's a doctor of physiology that has quantified human performance, and he basically says that he can have a tennis pro at like forget what he said, 80%, 90% proficiency on Friday, send him home for the weekend, come back on Monday only to find that the proficiency has dropped at such a level that it can actually be quantified. And you say to yourself, well, how can that be? Well, it be. And then you look at, you look at the fact that those of us who own weapons might get out to the range. If you're dedicated, you might get out to the range monthly, weekly maybe. But the fact of the matter is, the vast majority of us only get out to the range every couple of months, if not like, you know, twice a year, once a year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, that kind of thing. This is gonna step on toes, but I'm well past caring about stepping on toes. <clears throat> if you own a firearm, and you're not dedicating time to training with that firearm, look at what you are dedicating time to. If you're watching sports, seriously, shame on you. If you are watching sports, you are pissing money down a hole and you're pissing time down a hole and you need to be out here training with your firearm. If you consider yourself to be a defender of your country, a defender of your family, a defender of your church, I mean, if you carry a gun to church and you're not practicing with it, please leave it at home because you're not part of the solution. You're really part of the problem. I say this to you boldly because I carry a gun to church and I spend a lot of time out here. And I spend my own money and my time. I have to carve out. Guys, if you knew what my days are like, I'm running children all over creation right now, which is why I drive a Toyota Sienna. It's parked over there off camera. I drive a Toyota Sienna right now because my Tundra was not working. I was, when I sold my Tundra, I was shuttling three kids around and all their crap. And my Toyota Tundra wasn't working. And I sold it. And some of you are a bunch of mangina little wimps and you're like oh I'm gonna unsubscribe because you're driving a, a Prius first of all it shows how stupid you are because Priuses don't have sliding doors and secondly if you are bothered because I'm driving a minivan bye see ya I've reached a point where my crap filter is full and it's starting to spill into my videos and frankly I, I used to edit it out I don't really care anymore. I'm tired of watching an industry who keeps telling you that you gotta, 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 gotta have this, 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 and this. And if you got this and you put it on your gun, awesomeness will flow forth. Guys, awesomeness will not flow forth from you unless you come out here and do this. Unless you put in the time, unless you train so hard that you end up damaging yourself. I've gotten hurt in training I've caused damage to myself in training. I've bled in training. I take this stuff seriously and I urge you, I beg you, if you're spending time sitting at home watching sports, 
on a Sunday afternoon or watching something on a Saturday afternoon. Guys, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to pick on those two days. Saturdays and Sundays, depending on what your denomination is, depending on what your religion is, Saturday and Sunday is going to be a holy day for one group and a holy day for another group, Saturday and Sunday. You know what? I guarantee you there's nowhere in the Bible or the Quran or the Torah or anywhere else that's going to tell you that you should not train with your firearms on your holy day. And the reason that I say holy days because those are typically days of rest, which means you should be narrowing down what you're doing to rest. Well, make part of your rest this. Guys, for real, I come out here and I do this for rest and relaxation. And yeah, I'm running around, but guys, running around and doing something that I absolutely love is rest and relaxation. It's R&R. &R. And I come away from here relaxed. I, I go home in a much better mood because I came out here and I trained. I got fresh air, I got sunshine. Even on a cloudy day, I'm getting sunshine because trust me, last week I came out here, it was cloudy like this, and I came home sunburned because I was out here for about four or five hours. <sighs> if you're carrying a firearm and you're not putting the work in, shame on you. Get up and get on it. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.